Cameron Boyce was a Disney star who died, I'm not sure how long ago exactly. He died July 6th, 2019, which was literally six days ago as of right now. Literally the very next day, Disney published a video called Cameron Boyce. This video has almost 10 million views, 1.3 million likes, 11 dislikes, and the comment section is very well respectful. That's not the problem here. The problem is what is the whole point of this video? Because if you look on Disney's channel, there are no other videos on their channel like this one. This is the first of, the, of its kind, which is weird. I think that's very weird. I did some research and I'm not seeing any other articles on Disney star deaths. So this may be one of its first. I'm not seeing anything that says that another Disney star died. I thought there was more. I guess they're all still alive. To make this fair, let's see when this channel was established. September 19th, 2006. Meaning that if somebody died from 2006 to 2019 and they were a Disney star, Disney should have made a tribute video but they haven't. So there have been Disney stars who have died where Disney has not made a tribute video. And the reason I keep saying tribute video is because of the video itself. This video is literally just a slideshow with literally no audio, just an iMovie slideshow of Cameron Boyce pictures. And that's it. There's no rest in peace. There's no in loving memory. It's just, Literally a 30 second clip of Cameron Boyce pictures and that's it. It has 10 million views. The only thing that's even regardly respectful about this video is the description. But that's the description, that's not in the video itself. It says, rest in peace dear friend, you'll be in our hearts forever. And that's sweet and all, I get that. But there was no point in making this video. I get it's a tribute piece, but it's not really necessary. It just feels like in a way, Disney is using Cameron Boyce for views, which might not be true, but if you look at the numbers, this video has 10 million views. And the only other video I see that's closest to now that has over a million views is Hannah Meets the Jonas Brothers, but now it's from a month ago. Everything else, it's getting tens to hundreds of thousands of views. But you literally have a spike from 16,000 views to 9.8 million. This video doesn't add anything or subtract anything for that matter. It just kind of exists. I guess as Disney acknowledging Cameron Boyce's death, but they could have done a way better job, but they didn't. They didn't even bring up how he died you know, and to raise awareness for it, you know? It's just a slideshow. It's a glorified slideshow. I just feel like this situation could have been handled in a better way instead of just uploading a slideshow with no audio, no music. It's literally just pictures of him and that's it. And then the video just ends. Again, sure, you have the description, which is nice. I At least they have that. So it's not as bad of a situation, but it just doesn't seem necessary, especially because of the obvious jump in views. It's kind of disgraceful in my opinion. Like I get that Disney wants to acknowledge this, but they did it in the worst possible way. Worst possible way. So yes, he died of a natural cause, a seizure in his sleep. While this is a very, very sad situation and condolences to the family, obviously, Disney did not handle it well when it comes to their YouTube channel, in my opinion just could have been handled way better. His seizure was a result of an ongoing medical condition for which he was being treated. I just find it so interesting how nobody is really batting an eye at this. They're just accepting it like, yeah, Disney is acknowledging his death, except this is the first time they've done it on their channel. And since it is the first time they're doing it on their channel, they, they don't, they could have done it way better, but they didn't. Let's give it credit though. It was republished literally a day after the incident, so maybe they didn't know about the situation in general, they just know that he died, but they didn't know the cause because there was a waiting period for everybody to know like what the actual cause was. So if that's the case, I understand it, but looking at it now, it's just, in my mind, it's just kind of disgraceful and it could have been handled better by Disney. 
I don't know who runs the, the channel, okay? So it might not even be Disney. It could be somebody else. I don't know. But it's the official channel with 3 million subscribers. And I just think it could have been handled better. That's all. It's just, it doesn't sit well with me. It just doesn't. So anyways, I, I don't know if I'm the only one who feels this way. It just feels weird and off and like, it's literally just a slideshow with pictures, no music, no rest in peace, except in the description, which, I mean, why couldn't they have added that in the video? There's so much they could that they could have added in the video, but they didn't. It's just a slideshow. I just, I don't get it. Hey, this can't just be me, right? Let me know what you think, because like, I don't, but I'm repeating myself, so I'm done at this point. I just feel like I need to talk about this because this is kind of out of the water for Disney, I think, when it comes to their channel. So, 